Hi, my name is Asif Surya. I am an investor uh, from the San Francisco Bay Area who has been investing for 23 years, uh, both as an individual investor and as a professional investor. I'm also the author of the book, The Event Driven Edge in Investing. In this video, we will be talking about uh, a beginner's guide, if you will, to investing, where people who are just starting out investing could benefit from certain thoughts uh, and ideas. One of the things I realized when I first started investing was most of us want to buy a dollar worth of stock for 50 cents. And it's very attractive to think of it as stocks being on sale. Like you would go to a market and you pick up a really good piece of clothing or something that you want to buy uh, for a deep discount. Unfortunately, unless you are starting to invest during a bad market, when things have declined quite a bit, it's unlikely that you're going to run into bargains like that frequently. It's often better as an investor starting out to pay up for quality. So if you see a company uh, whose products that you like, that you observe that the company is doing well, is very profitable and is growing, it's good to actually pay up a little extra money uh, for a company like that than constantly looking for companies that are trading at a bargain price because often something is wrong with the company to be trading at that bargain price. Another thing that individual investors who are just starting out could benefit from is having a consistent schedule for investing. So you could invest once a month, you could invest one, once a quarter, but having that consistent schedule would mean that you will be able to withstand uh, market cycles. So there will be times when markets are going up uh, and there are times when the markets are going down. And by having that consistent schedule, you'll end up dollar cost averaging into your investments. And that can be very powerful force of compounding for your portfolio over a long period of time. Individual investors who are just starting out would also benefit by having a broadly uh, diversified portfolio instead of having a concentrated portfolio of just a few stocks or just a few asset classes. So building a broadly diversified portfolio would help you weather uh, the storm, which incidentally uh, is very common in financial markets. What we would think of as a 100-year storm that we would not see very frequently happens to occur almost every six or seven years in the financial markets. So a broadly diversified portfolio, which can include companies from different countries as well as um, companies across asset classes. So for example, commodities, technology company stocks, uh, energy company stocks uh, would help you weather those storms when they show up. As an individual investor who's just starting out, it's helpful to understand your own personality uh, when it comes to investing. Somebody who is uh, very willing to be patient uh, and who understands that they are generally calm when things are not working uh, would do well as a long-term investor who's focused on, for example, uh, value investing. If your personality is such that you crave action all the time and you want things to happen, uh, maybe you are more of a momentum investor or a growth investor. So trying to match the strategy that you're gonna adopt for your investing with your own personality will help you stay consistent and stay the course, if you will. If your investment strategy does not match uh, your temperament, uh, then it'll be hard to stay the course. Warren Buffett's partner, Charlie Munger, who passed away at the age of 99, once said, investing is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Investing is hard work. And so setting your expectations where you know that it's going to take time for something to play out, even after you've done all the hard work up front, will help you stay the course. All the hard work you do up front to understand the company will give you the conviction to hold the position and stay with the company when things are not working well with the market. There could be nothing wrong with the company and the stock price could still decline quite significantly because the market is declining. And so understanding what you own uh, can help you stay the course with the investment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, my name is Asif Surya and I'm the author of uh, The Event Driven Edge in Investing.